What's up, Christ United Kids? I hope you're having an amazing day. So, guess what? Yesterday, when we were doing our Memorize It Monday, I told you the wrong address. So, it is Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. I think I said 4 and 5. All right, are you guys ready to do it with me? <clears throat> you can repeat after me. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will make your path straight. All right, you want to try it one more time? Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will make your path straight. All right, guys, so today we're going to be talking about what does it mean to trust? What does it mean to trust in the Lord? So I wanted to look up the word trust to see what it meant. And in the dictionary, it says that trust is a firm belief in the reliability, in truth, ability, or strength of someone or something. All right. So when we put our trust in God, we know, number one, that he's reliable. God is always there for us, that he has ability and strength to be there for us, to help us. And that's what it means to trust him. We're going to look at another passage. So go ahead and grab your Bibles. All right. I've got my Bible out right here um, in Psalm. In the Psalms, which is in the middle of your Bible, Psalm 9, chapter, I mean, chapter 9, verse 10. Listen to what it, what it says about trusting. It says, those who know your name will trust in you. For you, Lord, have never forsaken those who seek you. Guys, that verse is just telling us that when we know who God is, when we know that God created the entire universe, when we know that God sent his only son Jesus to die on the cross for our sins, when we know that his Holy Spirit lives in us, this is saying that when we know his name, when we know God, we will trust him. We will trust him because he's never going to leave us. That's what forsaken means. For you, Lord, have never forsaken those who seek you. All right? So today, today, we are going to pray and ask God to increase our trust in him. We're going to say, God, help me to remember that you are always there for me. Help me to remember that you're reliable, that you are truth. That God, you and your word is the truth. No matter what's happening around me, we want to trust God. All right? Here we go. Let's pray. Dear Lord, thank you so much for this day. God, we thank you for the word. We thank you for your Bible and that it encourages us, that it directs us, that it is truth. God, today, help us to put our trust in you and you alone. Put our trust in you and you alone. We love you so much. And all God's children said, amen. All right, guys and girls. Tomorrow, we're going to be talking about the next part of the verse. You guys remember it? Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. So we're going to go with that tomorrow. I'll see you then.